bubbly that is. Oh my gosh, it's just like all fizz. I know. I know you've heard of elderberry syrup and kombucha. In today's video, I am combining those two and making bubbly elderberry kombucha. I hope you guys will enjoy the video. Well, what I'm going to be using for this is four cups of water. This is only two cups, so I'll have to refill it. And I'm just going to put it into the saucepan here. And I'm going to add about one cup of elderberries. This is whole dried elderberries. And I just got it from the health food store. And I'm going to turn this on and bring it to a boil. I also am going to stick in two star anise into here. So I've already added the other two cups of water. Alright, I'm going to drop a few cloves in there too. This is, let's see, five. I'm gonna put those in there. I don't stop blowing bubbles in my face. Ah, that's the wrong one. So I move this to the back burner and it is boiling now. So I'm gonna drop it down to low. Here. I'm gonna drop it down to low and I'm gonna leave it covered and let it simmer for half an hour to 40 minutes. If you guys haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and share this video with your friends. It really, really does help my channel to grow. Now hopping onto the computer, a lot of you might know already some of the benefits and what elderberry is used for, including fatigue, constipation, hay fever, <laughs> headaches, sinus infection, upper respiratory infection. But I thought this was interesting on this website. It says elderberry has not been proven to prevent COVID-19 and also it says that no published research studies have evaluated the use of elderberry, elderberry for COVID-19. So I just wanted to toss that in here. Um, but there are a lot of elderberry supplements on the market. And some of them are like almost $20 a bottle. Especially if you opt for um, the one with the organic label. So that's a lot of the reason well, why I just decided to go ahead and do it myself because I showed you guys the elderberries. I think I buy them from the health food store. They're like $5. I'll put a link somewhere in the description um, for some on Amazon. But I buy mine at the health food store and it's like four, four something around five, five dollars for that whole bag. And it's about, um, it's, it's all I need for making this, um, the whole, the one gallon of um, elderberry juice. So it's a money saver if you can just learn how to do it at home and it's so easy. Okay, so it's been about that time. It's actually taken a lot more time for me because I got busy doing other stuff. But so I'm just gonna strain this. This might not even be a big enough strainer. I have to probably pull out my other strainer. And I'm using this big jar, or this big, big thing, because I lo I broke my small one. I set it on the stove and then poured uh, cold liquid into it. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this all into this mesh thing and let it all drain out. And I'm also going to be adding about a cup of sugar. And you can make this, you guys, I'm recording. You can make this into a gallon of juice or of, of um, yeah, elderberry, elderberry juice. Or you can reduce it down to a syrup. I'm just going to make this into a gallon. So I'm just gonna set this to the side, and I'm gonna um, I'm gonna put my sh my sugar in here now because I want to make sure that it's um, I want to make sure that it's warm enough to dissolve the sugar. 
At this point, you could be done, guys. You can add your one cup of sugar and add your water to make your gallon of juice and you would be done. But I decided at this point to take it a step further. It gets confusing. You will see my thought process here. Um, I essentially split it in half and turned half of it into a double fermented kombucha and I left half of it as a juice. So let's uh, just show you what happened. Okay, so I'm thinking right now. This is my kombucha. I like to brew, I like to double ferment it. And so I'm thinking I might split this down the middle and make half juice with honey and then make half it with sugar and double ferment my kombucha here. It's already bubbly anyways, but it'll just be that much more bubbly. So um, thinking I'm gonna do that. Okay, so yes, I'm going to do that. So what that means I have to do is take my half cup of sugar and put it into a container that I'm gonna mix my half of half of my juice in. So what is that gonna be? So this is like okay, this was four cups, so it should be half of this. The half that I'm leaving as juice, I'm using honey for its health benefits. And for the half that I'm turning into kombucha, I have to use sugar because the scoby feeds off of the sugar. That looks like about half. Okay, so that was my line. And here's my line now. So I'd say that's about half. So this is going to have to stir this up. And then this is going to be my juice that I'm going to mix my, my honey with. But... What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the scoby out of this one because my scobies are getting huge and I have another one anyways that probably needs to be split. So unfortunately, I'm just probably going to toss this scoby. So I'll be right back. I'm going to take this out. Actually, you know what? Hmm. I think I could just pour this directly into here. Wait, this is the one that's going to have the sugar. This is the one with the sugar. I'm going to have to switch these. Okay, right I'm back. back. So I have another jar. And I'm going to set my kombucha to the side and I'm going to pour this into this jar. Yeah, that's about, that's about half, half. Okay, so this is the one with the sugar. And so what I want to do is I want to pour off my kombucha so that I could um, discard the scoby I could always just just shove it into another jar too I tend to do things like that around here okay so there's my scoby and you can see that I already ripped it in half from before and then I'm gonna um, put my sugar what am i doing what am i doing let me grab another jar i feel bad for throwing out my scoby okay so for now i'm just gonna put it in here and then i'll probably throw it away once it sat on the counter for a couple days just reminding me that i'm procrastinator all right i'm gonna give this jar a rinse real quick All right, and then I'm going to take my sugar mixture because the, the kombucha feeds off of the sugar. So that's why I'm not going to put honey. I think you can make June, but I don't know if that's a different scoby. Sorry if this seems really confusing. I'm kind of just doing whatever on the fly. But if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below, and I will try my best to answer them. I'm going to get all of that sugar off of there. And then I'm going to put this in here just to rinse it out and also this is concentrated so my kombucha is concentrated so it will look dark and I'll just fill it with water so I can just top that off with water and it will start making its own bubbles and then this one, I will fill another jar with and, and sweeten it with honey.
Okay, so I'm actually gonna pour this into here. I have this um, funnel thingy, I really like it. It comes in super handy. But um, I just reused this bottle and it seems to work really well, just like any bottle. Because they don't have any more jars. Okay, there's a lot of bubbles in there. I have to be careful. And then when I drink this, we can just drink it with um, ice. Okay, so I'm going to set that to the side because it's bubbling. And I do have a little bit left over. It's all dirty. Oh my God. <laughs> Taste this here. Tastes disgusting. Just kidding. It tastes pretty good. <laughs> 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 Taste disgusting. Okay, and then this one, I'm gonna mix with honey, and we'll also have it. And then I will be able to. Um, dilute this one and this one will just be the juice so uh, I'll sweeten it to taste it's probably gonna take about uh, I would say like a quarter cup to a half a cup of honey and um, my friend sent me this one from Hawaii it's one of my favorite honeys and okay so let's do that real quick I'm gonna get water his little music. All you do is string things together so the bus moves. <laughs> Who got peanut butter on my honey? <laughs> on my honey jar? Not me. Ask the person that always takes the honey to make his, his sandwich. Mm. Really? Okay. So I dumped some down. honey in there. And I'll throw this. I'm gonna I'm gonna fill this to taste. I'm not sure what it tastes like yet, so I'm gonna go um, shake this up. Okay, and this one I will probably just leave on the counter. I have my kombucha in a warm spot so that way it will activate. And okay, I'll top that off. And so. When I find the lid, I'll go put this on my little warmer. Perfect. Okay, so I found the lid, and so this is pretty much ready. Um, I'm gonna leave it with the new with the new sugar that I added. I'm gonna I'm gonna um, shake it and leave it on my warmer, and it'll start making even more bubbles. But you saw already how fuzzy the kombucha was, um, and that was just the first brew, and um, so this one will be even more fuzzy, and it'll trap the carbonation as long as you keep this tight. Behind the scenes. Mm. Tell me if you like it. It tastes um. Well, it's ah. It's not bubbly yet. Just is. <laughs> oh, MG. You that like was it? disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. Oh my god. <laughs> like, no, that was my honest opinion. Seriously, that tastes disgusting. <laughs> Great. No, no, it's nice. That's the. Okay, I All right, well, then I'm going to doctor it up and show you love it then. What does it taste like? Mm. Does it taste good or bad? It tastes pretty good. Wow! Thank you, my kind of mm. boy. I don't think so. It's, it's, <laughs> I think maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe I could put more sugar in there. Sugar. Sugar. Oh, you're good. Uh-huh, honey, honey. Okay, so I added a little bit more honey and about a quarter cup of sugar because the kids said it was disgusting. And I'm also topping it off with water because it is still concentrated. And it's disgusting. Once again. Thank you for that. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. It's just my honest opinion, okay? That was like the... I, uh, uh, 
Yeah, yeah thanks. I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... Ah, it still looks pretty dark. It still looks ugly. Wow. Hey, but I know it, like, it looks good at first. It looks like cranberry juice. Like, not really, but... Okay. Yeah, anyways, I don't know Hopefully that's going to be diluted em die. enough. Maybe it's still too concentrated. Maybe you guys just want it, like, not so mm -hmm. concentrated. Okay. Oh, probably. Yeah, I just ate all, all right, so I'm going to try to pour this in here without spilling. Oh, God. I don't know if it's working. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, come try this one. Let me taste. My honest opinion. Okay, honest, honest opinion. So that way I could fix it. It tastes waterier. Oh, great. But it just tastes more like... It has this flavor. It's weird. It's called elderberry. Yeah, remember how it stands up the whole entire kitchen? Mmm, I think it tastes good. It doesn't taste as bad as the last one. I was like literally dying. Okay, but yes, you come try this. Oh god, please no. Just try it. Just do it. Just do it. What do you think? I think it actually doesn't taste that bad. It tastes but better, but it has that yeah, tangy taste. It just has like a tangy taste. Like, oh, That's the elderberry. Oh, 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 we need to add more sugar. No, that's enough sugar. Okay, no, I'll come taste. You didn't put too much water. Okay, maybe you'll like it better when it's um, cold. Okay, tell me if you like it. Come try. Okay, well, it's medicine juice. We ate so much healthy stuff today. Can, can you guys help us? We, we Here, okay, no, I'll come try. We ate, like, the most grossest Cheerios. Here, go, baby. Try this. Like, now what did you need? You like it? Careful, don't bring it to the carpet. I don't even think Connor would like want to drink that. Okay, tell me if you like it. Yes or no? Come tell the camera. I like it. You like it? Okay, good. Do you love it? Mm. Yeah, see? He's a healthy boy. I, I he loves my kombucha too. So here it is. You can see how nice and bubbly it is. And this is just after one day. And this is still concentrated, so I still have to dilute it. Look at how bubbly that is. Oh my gosh, it's just like all oh, fizz. I know. <laughs> and there is our bubbly elderberry kombucha. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.